Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we have quite a storyline, mainly focused around this little robot here, Servo. Servo is a male robot who lives in this pretty nice house with his master, Professor Rhodes. But you see, this is a, a pretty sad story. Servo has always loved Professor Rhodes, but unfortunately the feeling has not been mutual. They actually dislike each other now. Professor Rhodes is the person who gave life to Servo, but he's been a real prick about it ever since. He forces Servo to cook and clean, he barely shows him any affection, puts him down every opportunity he can, and Servo just kind of has to put up with it, because in this universe it's illegal for Servos to live alone. They must live with a human sim. Servo's a bit different to other robots though. He doesn't thrive on completing tasks, he doesn't want to understand the inner workings of everything intellectual, he just wants to be loved. But Professor Rhodes made sure Servo knew that that was not on the cards at any point. Servo doesn't even have a name. After a year of life, Servo begged Professor Rhodes to give him a name, and as punishment, Professor Rhodes locked him in a room for three days. Ever since then, he's been too scared to ask for anything. But really, all Servo wants in life is a companion, someone who shows him love and respect. He's too scared to ask Professor Rhodes to make him a girlfriend, even though he easily could do it. He knows Professor Rhodes will say no. He knows that Professor Rhodes somehow gets some kind of sick pleasure in Servo suffering. Yeah, it's a classic case of robot abuse. So, for today's video, we're gonna help a lonely old robot get his life together. Servo's made a decision. It's time to put an end to his suffering. We gotta kill Professor Rhodes. And before you start feeling bad for the guy, don't. The guy's a right prick. He does the most unethical tests and treatments in the world. That's how we could afford such a nice house. So don't worry about the professor, okay? Fuck him. But Servo isn't a bad robot, you know? He doesn't really have it in him to just whip out a machete and chop up his creator. We're gonna have to try and do things the natural way. I'm thinking our best bet is puffer fish. We have a few stages to this challenge. Is it a challenge? Or a storyline. Let's call it a challenge. Step one, eliminate Professor Rhodes. Probably via Pufferfish. Step two, try and blend in as a human so that no one suspects that Servo is a robot living on his own. We'll do that by probably getting a job and trying to act as human-like as possible. Once Servo is his own owner, he can finally give himself a name. And then step three, the most crucial step, learn robotics and make a companion. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Don't know how realistic it is, but we'll give it a go. I think, seeing as Professor Rose is asleep, he probably won't notice. For us to get the puffer fish recipe, we're gonna need to sneak out. So I think sneaking out in the middle of the night is probably our best bet. Let's go. Just head down to San Myshuno and see if we can learn the recipe. Might have to do a bit of traveling until we find the puffer fish stand. Looks like well, there's no puffer fish here. Sorry, Servo, we're gonna have to get back on the train. God damn it, why is it so hard to find frickin' puffer fish? It's always the last district, isn't it? Right, fuck it, I'm just gonna buy the puffer fish stand. We gotta get this done before the professor wakes up. Can't have him suspect anything. Love the way he walks. So at some point, yeah, we're gonna have to get robotics level eight to create a Servo ourselves. But, I guess because he is a servo, he already has robotics level 3, which is pretty handy. Oh, robots can't eat puffer fish. Shit. Alright, well then, let's, let's go home. Well, maybe what we can instead do is serve it to Professor Rhodes so that he knows the recipe. And then right before Professor Rhodes decides to cook it for himself, We'll try and get him in an angry mood. And then that way, it's not as cruel, is it? It's not like we killed him. We just put the wheels in motion for him to kill himself. Offensive conversation. Oh, he's so mean to poor Servo. Servo's angry. Oh, dear. I wonder if Servos can die from emotion. Probably not, huh? Well, the professor is pretty dazed. I wonder if that would mean that he doesn't cook a good puffer fish. Let's try it dazed. Oh, he made it excellent quality. Well, the quality still seems to be excellent, despite him being very angry. But maybe his bad mood might spoil the experience? Oh, yes! Poor quality puffer fish. 
Eat it up, old man. Oh, I think we're taking a little nap-nap. Good for you, Servo. Enjoy your dinner, Professor Rhodes. This is going to be a sweet, sweet moment, and poor Servo isn't even awake to witness it. Imagine if after all this he still doesn't die. He truly is an indestructible professor if that happens. No thanks, Welcome Wagon. We don't want you to bear witness to this. If any of the neighbours catch on that he dies, Servo's just going to be turned in and basically be given a new owner. Why did that not kill you? Man, he really is indestructible. He's going for a second survey. Oh, here we go. Professor is dying from eating some bad puffer fish. Finally, finally. Servo, I think you should probably come over here. He's got a smile on his face. He's got a little bit of a swagger in his step now. He's laughing. Servo, you absolute joker. <laughs> He's got a happy mood buff. Enemy's demise. You could pretend to be a, a bit more sad about it, um, Servo. He was still your creator. Well, that's it. You don't have anyone controlling you anymore, Servo. How do you want to celebrate? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Even Grim Reaper is joining in. Man, how many enemies did <laughs> Professor Rhodes have? He's even doing the robot. Oh, dear Servo, you crack me up. Well, you know what this means. One of your dreams can come true. You can finally have a name. Servo actually picked out a name a long time ago. But his master told him he wasn't allowed one, so now he's going to go with the name of his choice. Servo will now be called Darren. Now, I'm not really sure how you do your durability there, because um, usually I would just have another sim sort you out, you know. I'm thinking maybe we should just get you working on... Well, let's order some, some upgrade parts, because we're going to need some upgrade parts when we build the girlfriend anyway. <laughs> Flirt with the computer. I do not play with servos enough, man. We'll get some upgrade parts and maybe we'll practice robotics and see if we can get you to up, like help yourself with your durability. Here we go. We'll spend all of Professor Rhodes' money on some upgrade parts. We'll pop Professor Rhodes over there. Uh, we'll stick the puffer fish in the bin. Okay, yeah. Uh, we do need you to learn robotics. Pretty, pretty quick stat, though. How long do you have before you've got... Servos can tune themselves up when they've reached enhancement level 3. Darren Bot's enhancement progress is currently at 59%. I'm not really sure how to build his enhancement skill. I am going to assume it's linked to the robotics skill. Maybe we should have got that tune up before we killed our maker. Oh, well done. You got two salvage parts from that. Okay, I'm going to let you recharge while I figure out... You recharge, I'll try and figure out how I build your durability, okay? Should we maybe, like, make a meal? Chat with the fridge and make a meal? Not that Servo can eat, but I'm just thinking, would that maybe help with his enhancement so he can give himself a tune-up? Darren has acquired enough knowledge to enhance his core system. Okay, okay, that's good. Self-enhance. Go and enhance yourself, Darren. Okay, I think he's enhancing himself right now. Oh no, he's broken. Oh dear. Call for repair? Oh, brilliant. Okay, we can just hire a repair technician until we... Oh, that's good to know. Okay, so Servo isn't just gonna die. There's the repair technician. Come on in. Do your job. Come inside. Just kind of breaking down right here. So, you know, do take your time. I hope this bitch has got the knowledge to fix us. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Perfect. Okay, did you finish that self-enhancement? I guess not, huh? Yeah, no, you didn't. Okay, self-enhance. Now, I'm thinking, seeing as it is illegal for you to be here by yourself, probably we should try and get a normal human job. People might think that we're human. Find a job. This is the first step in changing the world for robots. We're now enhancement level one. Yeah, we want to create a better life for all robots out there. What would Servo be good at? Engineer, perfect. That will go hand in hand with his robotic skill. Tinker at the robotics workstation, already done it. So maybe we should craft some toys, craft a chatterbot, a little, little red one. I think Servo has some memories. Oh, got a job. I thought maybe the fight would give him a memory, but I guess not. Laugh. <laughs> oh, funny. What time do we have work? Oh, we don't have work for 24 hours. Okay, 9 a.m. 
You know what, Servo? Darren. Put all that emphasis on him wanting a name, and yet I call him Servo anyway. I think tonight we should sleep in the professor's bed. Hopefully our upgrade parts will arrive soon. Oh, they're already in my inventory. Okay, perfect. Well, let's see if we can upgrade a few things. I wonder how his next enhancement is coming on. 3%. Okay, it's going to be a while then. And we need to be at enhancement level 3 to be able to repair ourselves. So I think we're going to be calling the repair technician quite a lot. Yeah, robotics level 4. We're like halfway there. He's ready for the next level of enhancement. Oh, but he was only 3% when I checked a second ago. He can enhance himself. Oh, that built very quickly. I think we might need to order some more uh, parts. I'm starting to think maybe, um, especially for like rags to riches stuff, I should probably just always play as a servo. They're so much easier to maintain, except the durability, but you know. Flirt with the laptop for a bit. That'll get your social need up. Will the laptop reciprocate, I wonder? <laughs> He's showing her, showing the laptop his muscles. Sorry, I didn't mean to assign a gender there to that laptop. Um, just do some tinkering then, because you've got a few hours before you have to go to work. We may as well try and build that skill. What's that memory there? Outlived an enemy from mocking and... <laughs> he did that by himself. I didn't even tell him to. He went over to go and mock or laugh at the professor. Uh-oh, that durability is getting low. I need a mechanism. Where do I find the mechanisms? God damn. Okay, Google says that I can craft computer chips and mechanisms using robot salvage parts. Okay, that's good to know. Right, we'll try that then. Oh yeah, craft mechanism and then craft a computer chip. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, that durability's going down. Don't you worry, Daryl. Or Darren. <laughs> I, you, I promise I'm not doing this on purpose. <laughs> Keep getting his name wrong after putting such a bloody emphasis on that. Yeah, okay. I don't think he's going to... He's going to be able to upgrade himself, but I don't think he's going to be able to sort out his durability, so we might have to have the repair person again. Okay, so he's enhancing himself. I don't want to be late for work because I need repairing. That's the annoying thing. Okay, enhancement level two. New behavior modules. Oh, great. Right, take yourself to bed then, Darren. Sweet dreams, my little bicentennial man. Right, get up. You've got to go to work. Maybe you can go flirt with the laptop again just to get your, your social need up. Okay, have a great day at work. Enjoy. Maybe try and get a promotion? Uh-oh, gone down to average. I guess because we're late. At least we completed our daily task. Just try and blend in. Try and act human. Talk to your colleagues about showering. Don't you guys just love showering? That feeling of water slide off of your velvety skin. Oh, we've got mail. Uh-oh, he's broken. Oh, that's not good. We're gonna have to come home early. Oh, dear. This trying to live like a human thing isn't really, isn't really going too well for us, is it? Call for repair. Oh, Darren, Darren, Darren. Well, here's the repair person. Come fix us up. Okay. Perfect, perfect. I think we should go and make another one of those um, mechanisms for our next upgrade. 4% enhancement. Well, maybe tinkering around on here might help us get ready for the next, because I really need to get that enhancement level up so we can fix ourselves. That would be a great help, and then we could start taking our career seriously. Are we going to get robotics level 5? Oh, yes! Okay, let's just tinker at the station, see if we can get some more robotic parts. That's right, that's right. Maybe you could um, have a chat to the fridge? I wonder if flirting with the fridge will piss the laptop off. We just like to go around flirting with all of our appliances. Can we flirt with the microwave? Oh yeah, we can. Okay, I think we should just craft a load of mechanisms just so that we've got the materials ready for when we're at the skill level to craft ourselves a love. Calculating compatibility from flirting with electronics. Exchanging amorous data packets causes Darren's circuits to spark. Oh, Darren. Robotics level five. And I think, I think I just got a notification saying he's ready for another upgrade. Yes! Okay, perfect. That means... We won't need to worry about calling a repair technician and we won't have to worry about breakdowns for durability anymore. 
Oh, yeah, that would be ideal. Oh, he's such a good little robot, isn't he? Oh, fuck. Hey, Professor, how's it going? Come to check in on us? Well, I, th I think he seems to have let bygones be bygones. Okay, enhancement level three. So that means you should be able to sort out your own durability now. Self-repair, yes. Okay, self-repair and then go and chat to the fridge some more. I do feel bad for this robot though. He can't really get any human friends because he can't risk getting caught living alone. So the only people he can really talk to, well, the only things he can talk to are the electronics around the house and they don't really give him anything back. All he wants is to just be less lonely or to not be kept com company by that prick over there. Hey, fuck off. Still a pain in our ass, even from beyond the grave. Okay, and then maybe we'll craft some computer chips. Right, okay, you need to go to work and I'm gonna get you to work hard today so that you try and make up for turning up late and leaving early yesterday. Oh shit, we haven't paid our bills. And it's Christmas tomorrow. Oh, imagine having a girlfriend for Christmas. He's delirious from illness. <gasps> Promoted to engineering intern. Ah, oh, well done, Darren. Okay, you know the drill. Let's craft some materials. We've got to get our experience up. We're almost at level six. So we're about two and a bit skill points away from finding the love of your life. Robotics level six. Oh, yes, please. Unlock a new behavior module. Hmm. I'm going to go for the fixomatic so that he's good at fixing things. Oh, could you imagine if we could make this robot by Christmas? I don't think you're going to get those two skill points in just one day, but you know, we can dream. And I'll pop you to self-repair when you finish making those computer chips. It's hard to tell whether, because really, I mean, servos are easier to keep their needs fulfilled because they have such fewer needs. But that durability goes down like every single day. Maybe it's just because I'm getting him to do robotics every day in fairness. I don't really play with servos that often, so I don't know how low their durability goes usually. But I mean, aside from durability, he has spent literally hours at that robotics machine. And uh, he's a pretty happy chappy, except for durability. Download enhancement data. We can enhance even more. Oh, you know what might be nice? If I give him a little planter, maybe we could plant a little flower as a gift. And maybe, just maybe, a pretty flower will grow in time for when our little robot buddy joins us. Oh shit, we're late for work. Hurry up, Darren. Go to work. Go to work. Oh, Darren can enhance himself. Perfect. Right, well, Darren, why don't you enhance yourself right now? Self-enhance. And then, how many days do we have? Okay, it's still... So we want something that's going to flourish in winter and spring. Well, holly grows in winter, so we could plant that. There we go. We'll plant some flowers. And if they don't grow in time, then we'll just give her a flower from our inventory. Aw, Father Winter's here. Maybe we could ask him for a present? I wonder how many mechanisms and computer chips are required to craft a servo. Let's just craft maybe two. Oh, his little face. He had little tears running down his eyes. Yeah, we'll craft a couple computer chips and then we'll get you to repair yourself. <gasps> Robotics level seven, one more skill point, Darren. And then you'll no longer be a lonely robot. Oh, his little tears streaming down his eyes. Poor guy. I know you didn't have a very good Christmas, Darren, but trust me, things will get better. Oh, it's too cold to plant flowers, apparently. Oh, dear. Why don't you go to work? It looks like you're going to get a promotion anyway. We're going to need to order some medicine because I think he's sick. Oh, was that a promotion? <gasps> Promoted to Apprentice of Algorithms. You can take your medicine when you finish tinkering. Can we get this last skill point tonight? I don't know, it depends how happy we can keep you. Currently I have four computer chips, six mechanisms. Let's see, what will I need to craft a servo? 18 mechanisms, 12 computer chips. Oh, we're gonna be working all night, I think. On the bright side, he does keep accidentally zapping himself, which fulfills his charge need. So that's pretty handy. Oh, I can hear a spooky noise. That fucking ghost is back. There he is. Sat right next to the chair he died on. You looking for porn there, Professor Rhodes? You sick fuck. 
Aww. He's being mentored by... Oh, maybe Professor Rhodes has had a change of heart. Aww. Darren's sentiments about the professor. Impressed. Huh. Okay. Great. You know what, Darren? I think we should take a day off work today. We don't have the programming skills, so we're not going to get a promotion, so we may as well just take this day as holiday. Enjoy your day off. Thanks. So I need to make ten more mechanisms and five more computer chips. Okay, okay. Can we do that in one day? Probably not. Not without a uh, self-repair anyway. Yes! Robotic level eight. Okay, so... We can craft, we've got the skill to craft a servo, we just need to make sure we have enough parts. And also, I think we can give ourselves an enhancement as well. Oh, that is looking great. You seem to really know what you're doing there, Darren. I'm so proud of how far you've come. Are you sick again? Oh, why, why do you keep getting sick? Okay, we've been crafting all day, we're now completely out of robot salvage parts. So I guess I better order some more. God, this is a real mission and a half, man. I'm glad the professor left us all this money. All right, we have 10 computer chips. So we just need to make two more of those. And then how many of these do we need? Three mechanisms. Okay, okay. Yeah, other than that, we've got everything we need. Okay, I see you need to self-repair. So why don't you just go and do that? Yeah, I don't think we'll be finishing our servo tonight. Tomorrow, though. Tomorrow's going to be the day. You all happy now? Your needs all good? Yes, okay. We'll just have a chat with the microwave before we go to work and we'll be all good. Ah, Darren has unlocked the techie lifestyle. You're almost at level 9 in robotics. By the time we finish this servo, we might have even mastered that. Alright, you enjoyed your day off. You spent the entire time working at your robotic station. So I want to see you go to work today with a positive attitude. I am the future from techie lifestyle. Right, now I'm thinking, when he finishes making that, that should mean that we have all of the things we need to craft a servo. So, I might have him practice his programming while we wait for him to go to work. Just so we can see if we can... I don't know, I doubt we'll get to skill level 2, but we can try and get that before he has work. Oh wait, he doesn't have work for three days. Oh, well then we can craft a servo today. All right, we'll get your programming skill up so you can get a promotion, and then we'll craft yourself a girlfriend. And we can celebrate New Year's Eve together. Oh, that'll be nice. That social need is getting low. Okay, programming level two, well done, well done. Let's go craft you a lover. It's time, Darren. It's time for the created to become the creator. This is gonna take a long time, I think. But we'll start with her little tootsies and her legs quite like that we've got the fast-paced electronica music going on in the background, you know, really pumping him up for this. He's getting excited, I think. This is taking quite a lot out of him, actually. What a love story. I wonder if he'll break down before he finishes her. Uh-oh. Broken down. Oh, dear. Oh, no. That's not good, is it? Call for repair. Didn't even get the chance to fix ourselves. We should have taken a break. Sorry, love. I know you were trying to enjoy New Year's Eve. I bit off a bit more than what I could chew. Oh, that prick came and broke my toilet and my sink. All right, let's resume our servo. We're so nearly there. So close. <gasps> it's done! Yes! Okay, activate servo. Oh, he's lonely. You won't be lonely for very long. We will make her a female. And we will give this servo... A luxury we were not afforded in the beginning. We will give her a name. Oh, looks like she's waking up. Oh, that's right. Servo has been activated. Oh, He can scan her for traits. Can find out what traits she has. And you know what, Servo? We're going to give you a name. What are her traits? Oh, we will call her Mona. Darren knows all of Servo's traits. Bro, romantic and clumsy. I have an idea, Darren. Why don't you use this opportunity to give a romantic gift of a daisy? Hopefully she doesn't turn us down. I appreciate it's a bit forward, but, you know, we did give her life, so. And look at her little face. She looks happy. Would you like a flower? Aw, she loves it. Romantic interest creator. 
Oh, you guys. Her eyes have immediately gone to love hearts. That's Oh, she's giving him a rose. I've gone. I've actually gone. This is what we've always dreamed of. It's happening, finally. I think you should give her another flower. Oh, we've got the electronica music in the background. We've got these two electronical beings falling in love with each other. We've achieved all we wanted and more. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And we might come back to Darren and Mona and see how they get on with their lives. Darren maybe will get even more promotions at work. Maybe they'll get a dog. Who knows? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.